are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition. This is for Tuesday, the 6th of October. I'm James Spann. The focus is on Delta, which rapidly grew from a depression to a Category 4 hurricane in a very short amount of time. So let's dive in there and see if we can answer all your questions. First off, we'll start with the main upper air look across the country. Got the uh, primary band of westerlies a little north of us, and there's a trough coming in over Texas, and that should turn Delta northward toward the Louisiana coast later this week. But today, not bad. Nothing but sunshine for the northern half of the state. Got some high cirrus clouds over south Alabama, and that's not rain-producing clouds, just high clouds. The low levels are dry. It is warmer today as expected. Tuscaloosa, 83. Birmingham, 82. Anniston, 80. Tomorrow, we'll probably see some upper 80s on the western side of the state as the warm-up continues. Here's the watch warning map. Pretty quiet day across the country and no severe weather expected through tonight. Tomorrow, a marginal risk over parts of New England. And day three, which is Thursday, things are quiet. We'll be watching, though, for the chance of a few isolated tornadoes for the Gulf Coast region Friday into Saturday with the approach of Delta. This is the rain for the next seven days. Pacific Northwest is wet and the Southeast is wet. And again, understand this could change again as we get better clarity on Delta, but the heaviest rain most likely for Alabama will come over the western counties, over into Mississippi and parts of eastern Louisiana. And currently the amounts they're showing up are about uh, three to six inches and the rest of Alabama between two and four inches, lighter amounts for southeast Alabama. Understand this will be moving. This will not be like a sally that just sits there and doesn't move very quickly. So that's the one reason the rain amounts are not all that excessive. But still, that will be a lot of water coming in. So this thing just blew up overnight in this morning. Top winds now 140 miles per hour. An extremely dangerous Category 4 hurricane. This might reach Category 5 strength at some point over the southern Gulf. And unfortunately, it's making a beeline for Cancun uh, on the Yucatan Peninsula uh, tomorrow morning. And this is going to be a really devastating hit for them. Then it comes out into the Gulf and then curves up into the Louisiana coast Friday night. And there should be some weakening in theory because of cooler water temperatures near the Gulf Coast and also stronger southwest winds aloft creating shearing, which is not good for hurricane development. But still, a Category 2 is a very formidable hurricane. The remnant circulation moving up to a point near Muscle Shoals Sunday morning. And that should wet down all of Alabama late Friday night, Saturday and Saturday night, obviously. Uh, models in very good agreement. There's good steering currents here, well-defined. With Sally, we didn't have that. Steering currents were weak and ill-defined. This is the GFS Ensemble, and again, most all the members in very tight agreement with the NHC track. And as always, the intensity forecast is the hard part. Uh, you can see a couple of uh, models bring it up to Category 5 strength. Uh, and then it starts to go downhill as it approaches the coast in about 72 hours. And, of course, when that weakening begins is the key to the impact on the Gulf Coast. Uh, let's talk about modeling here. Show the GFS. We'll talk about the coastal impact. Uh, this is the 12Z run, valid tomorrow at 4. And, again, the main westerly is a little north of here. It'll trough over Texas. And down below that, we've got uh, Delta that's just off the coast of the Yucatan. But for us, the day here, warm, dry. Highs mid-80s in most spots. Maybe some upper 80s on the western side of the state. This is Thursday. We could see a few showers over the southern counties of the state. North Alabama will likely stay dry and warm. And again, I think we'll see mid-80s on Thursday. Now, this is Friday at 4 o'clock. The GFS depicting Delta coming up toward Morgan City, Louisiana, with pressures rising, meaning the system should be weakening. Still a formidable hurricane. Uh, and on Friday, we'll have the chance of showers in Alabama. It's not going to rain all day, not a big washout kind of thing, but showers gradually increasing Friday night. And in terms of the uh, impact on the Gulf Coast, uh, obviously the really major threat of wind damage and severe storm surge will be across southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi. However, there will be storm surge flooding in, in coastal sections of Alabama, southern Mobile and Baldwin counties, probably into the western tip of the Florida panhandle. It's a little early for a surge forecast. We'll wait and see what this thing looks like in the southern Gulf. 
Uh, but just understand some coastal flooding, a definite possibility. Obviously, double red flags will be flying up and down the Gulf Coast for the rest of the week because of the rip current danger. There could be a few isolated water spouts or tornadoes near the Gulf Coast Friday and Friday night. So let's go to Saturday. The GFS depicts the remnant circulation near Oxford, Mississippi at 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. That's where Alabama is scheduled to play Ole Miss in football. Uh, the NHC track is farther east, and, you know, it could be either a driving rain and, and windy at the game, or it could be cloudy and breezy with showers. It depends on the position of this thing, and there's not really good clarity at this point. But one way or the other, Alabama will be in a situation where it's going to be uh, wet and breezy Saturday. And we're going to have to watch out for the possibility of tornadoes. This is the instability off the GFS, and the numbers have really come up over the past couple of runs. And with the increased instability showing up and temperatures in the upper 70s, there could be a few isolated brief tornadoes. And understand these are tough to deal with. They typically can be under the radar. They don't last long, but they can produce significant amounts of damage. So uh, just be aware that Saturday will be very wet, breezy, and maybe, just maybe a brief isolated tornado or two. Sunday... Uh, the GFS depicts the remnant load uh, just to the uh, southeast of Nashville. Uh, showers will be ending Sunday morning, most likely. And notice the weather on the Gulf Coast is going to be fine Sunday. If you've got a beach trip, uh, in fact, I think Saturday afternoon, they'll start to see clearing uh, on the Gulf Coast. And then uh, Saturday afternoon, Sunday, much of next week looks pretty good. This is Monday. Uh, we're dry and warm. Highs above 80. And then Tuesday, look at that negative tilt trough here. And a cold front comes in here, trailing a surface low over Wisconsin. And that would suggest a chance of showers on Tuesday. And we start to turn cooler with highs back in the 70s. We'll go out 10 days. This is Friday of next week, October 16th. Big vortex over Canada. And that looks dry and pretty pleasant and seasonal, if this is right. Rain for Birmingham off the uh, GFS Ensemble. Look at the mean, the green line. The numbers have come down. Uh, numbers now that the mean is actually just between 1 and 1.5 one and inches. Uh, some of the members exceed two inches. And again, this is going to flux a little bit as we get closer. But we don't expect any big flooding problems here because the thing is moving along pretty quickly and the rain should be spread out over a fairly long length of time. And the ground is not saturated. Temperatures, you can see the numbers coming down into the upper 70s on Saturday and Sunday and another pretty good cool air pop in here toward the latter part of next week. And just in, hot off the presses, the new CPC outlook. This is for October 14th through the 20th, showing temperatures here right at seasonal averages. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.